All right, hello once again. This is Jeff Scott of Rankin Technical College. And as part of the Rankin Technical College AWD 1112 Java Android Programming class, I have been going through this uh, first project in Balsamic Mockup. And so far, I'm on about page six or seven, but I've gone through and I changed it to browser. All right, so I have this. I positioned it on the page. So it pretty much looked like this. All right. Came in and put in the logo as we were supposed to do. Next came in and put in your company name. Now, where I had a little problem here was they didn't tell us to do this or this or this yet. So they want us to come in and put in a horizontal separator under the logo text. In other words, they want one of these. So that's what I plan on doing next. All right, so going back here, this is the way my project looks. And I was in here looking for horizontal separator. There's a horizontal rule. Try grabbing one of those. And looks like it's right there. There we go. All right. So there that is, and I think that's correct. Oops. All right. And title to separate the header from the body context. In the quick add box, type rule. It will show you H dot rule and V dot rule. It stands for horizontal and vertical rule. Well, that was what I should have done. Select the H dot rule and insert the rule below the title and logo text by mouse drag. Using the handles, you can increase or decrease the size. Let's, let's follow their lead here. So what I will do is I will come back here. I will remove this thing that I added, even though it might be correct. And in here, I'm going to type in rule. And I guess that was right. We want H rule. And yeah, I did it. I guess I did do it right. So all right. And then they want us to come in and basically stretch it across the entire width here. Now, even though they don't show it, I'm leaving a real little bit of area at each end. Theirs looks like it's pretty much all the way across. All right. Similarly, insert the products and services section using the UI controls block of text and title. There's block of text and title. I've already done over here. So let's come in title. And we'll put that over here. In fact, let's just double click. There we go, a big title. Put it over here. And this is going to say products and services. There it is. OK. Now, again, you know this as well as I do. Is this perfect? Heck no. All right, but we're starting to, 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 it's starting to come into focus, whatever you want to call it. So let's grab this block of text. Let's put that down here. And they want that to stretch pretty much the entire width also. All right. Use a horizontal rule to separate the section. You should be able to see the wireframe space as shown. Now, it does look like they took this and moved it down here. Let's move this and make this a little wider. 
looks more like it does on the screen. And then let's take this and move this down to the bottom. All right, again, is that perfect? Heck no. All right, but it's totally fine the way it is. Now looking on the next page, on page 9, it looks like that's back up there again. So that's fine. Let's do that. All right, underneath this, they want this to say company vision. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this. And down here, so it pretty much matches the other one. I'm going to put in company vision. And I'm going to grab the text that's here, copy that. And I'm going to put that down here as well. All right. Says add a link bar on this page for navigational purposes. All right, we're going to do that in just a second. Let me click out of here. Now let's see what it looks like. This looks like it could be moved down a little bit here. That looks better. That looks pretty good. Actually, this could be moved back up. There we go. All right. I think it's pretty much coming coming into fruition here, so to speak, and it's starting to look the way it's supposed to. I'm liking the way it's looking. It's not at all perfect, but it's not bad either. All right, kind of like that. So we were supposed to add a link bar on the page. So let's find the link bar. There's a link. That's a link. We want a link bar. And there's a link bar right there. Okay, so that came out over here. And we want it to say home home. Oh yeah, boy. Let's look on the copy that's here. Whoops. Like I said, it's getting there, so. Home, products, about us, and contact us. Home, products, about us and contact us. All right. Looking pretty good. This one that's right here, the one that's got home on it, All right, so it said add a link bar on this page for navigation purposes. Nowadays, it is a common practice to use link bars for easier navigation. Use the quick add box, which is what I did, to add the link bar. The values are updated by double-clicking on the tab associated, and I did do that for you. It says, position this as shown. Looks like this should be moved over a bit. More like that. All right. And that will work fine, at least for now. We can always move it later. This concludes the home page wireframe design. We have seen how easy and simple it is to add UI controls and start with the UI layout of a website. All right. So that's our first page. 
Now, I'm not going to do this, but if we click here, here, or here, it's assuming we want to go to those pages, which we have not created yet. All right? So I am now on page 10 as a quick, and I mean quick, review. We have gone through this first project, company website. We have been told it's going to have four pages, a home page, a products page, an about us page, contact us page. We started to build and we really built the home page. So we came in, opened up Balsamic Mockup, put in browser, selected browser, set the size, the position X, Y, the width and height accordingly. All right, I didn't do this. It says using the zoom option above the UI library section. Set the zoom level to fit in window. And for whatever reason, that should have been up here, I thought, or here, but I didn't see anything that said zoom. All right. So, just going to leave that the way it is. So, we came in, we had this set up. We started to create, we came in first by creating a logo for the company, and underneath it, we put company logo. Then, to the right of that, we added a title with your company name. All right, I'm going to do this in the order they did it. Underneath that, we added a separator, which was right here. And under the separator, we added two sections, a products and services section, followed immediately by a company vision section. Finally, we came in and we added a link bar right here that looked like this. All right, that home one should not be a link because we're already at the home page, but still. I wanted to take this one, I mean, I can click on the whole thing, home. See, they all say no link, back, link to new mockup, link to a web address. I don't want to do any of those, so I do want to keep it there. We'll worry about that. I think later it'll probably work itself out. So it's time to go on to the second page of this, which is the product and services page. All right. I'm not going to do any of this stuff right now because I'm already at 13 minutes. So I'm going to come back and do the product and services page in our next lecture.